Yes, there is a couple of ways we can diagnose frame collapse or vertical collapse when working on a piece of equipment like this. This is our frame oscillator and output valve. It's one of these, ah, uh, it's a pentode and a single triode put into one envelope. This one is the classic example, the PCL85 or the 805. They're, I think they're both the same thing. I think one of them is used really in audio applications, but you can swap between the two and I think they'll they'll be fine. Uh, this particular one is in a set I'm working on currently. Um, we've got no frame amplitude, so let's try and work out what's going on. I can go and check the uh, anode voltage, of course, which will be coming through the frame output transformer. Fantastic, I love that. Uh, I could also check the uh, oscillator pulses coming off the anode. I think I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to attach on the right pin. I just need to get my valve book and because I, I can't remember by by heart it'll be coupling to a cap going to the grid on the say on the on the on the pentode part of this valve so we want to clip on i mean that the the, the coupling cap could be shorted maybe oh, i don't know the valve does get quite hot so we'll have to do some investigating and see what actually is causing it i am going to clip on to the coupling cap first though Let's see if we've got some uh, sawtooth pulses. Yeah. So just a change of plan. I'm going to, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to ignore the light bulb. I'm going to uh, check the voltage on pin one because I think the frame height or amplitude control is, it, it's in series with the anode of the uh, the single triode. So if that's obviously, that voltage isn't there, that could be why things aren't working correctly. So let's probe that first and see what we get. So I've solved it and look at that. It looks better on the camera than it does in person. There was a cold solder joint. We did have a missing voltage. Um, and because the height control was originally pushed in, we, um, one of the joints broke thankfully the control didn't it happened on a few things actually there's probably a couple more bad joints in there but um, I'm gonna see if I can stick a test card on it and see what actually we're dealing with here oh damn it I really wanted to use the scope that's annoying never mind I like using the oscilloscope to prove that we've got hum in this power supply. Marvellous.